gentlemen, Mario Shiz on the line, so let's get this thing started. Good evening, Martin. Hey, good evening, uh, Stephen. How are you? I'm alright. Long time no see. How's your summer so far? It's been good. It's been good. Can't complain. How was your summer? Uh, I can't complain also. Just same thing. Whatsoever. Boring as hell anyway. So listen, Martin, I'm going to tell you the truth right now, and you got to help me with this recap. Now, as you may know, I didn't watch the New York One's mayoral debate. But only you, my friend, because you have Spectrum Cable, and, um, and me, I have Direct TV. But how did the debate go, my friend? Well, you missed an incredible debate. That was Sal Albanese. My goodness, I, I think you and I should vote for Sal Albanese. Uh, in the next couple of weeks for the primary. Well, thanks. Well, thank you very much. So, t okay, let's, let's start from the beginning. We have Mayor de Blasio versus Sal Albanese. Now, I really don't know how to say this. I think Sal Albanese is a moderate Democrat. I'm correct? Yes. He's, he's also kind of a conservative Democrat. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. And you know how, and as you may know, um, we have Mayor de Blasio, our mayor, that we fought for him for our mistakes since 2013. And um, he's a liberal, but also we have a little bit of Republican inside right here. And um, he has so many, many, many mistakes for the past four and a half years. But um, tell me the recap, how it go. When it went, and what they, and what Mayor De Blasio do wrong. Well, first of all, Sal Albanese won that debate fair, fair and square. He attacked Mayor De Blasio on almost every single issue. When it came down to homelessness, he attacked the mayor. When it came down to transportation, mass transit, he attacked the mayor. Why? The why the New York City should should pay like. Millions of dollars to fund the transit system. He also attacked, uh, Sal Albany's attacked Mary de Blasio on affordable housing, which, by the way, uh, uh, Mary de Blasio has created tens of thousands of affordable housing. But it's, Stephen, if you look at downtown Brooklyn, but take a look at the towers he's building. I he's know. not building affordable housing. I know. I know. Listen, since I remember yesterday when I came out on the city bus and I saw so many new condos in town, downtown Brooklyn. It feels like you're in a um, the 21st or the 22nd century right now. It feels like we're in the middle of the Jetsons. Yeah, I mean, I mean he's building, he's, he's talking about affordable housing. First of all, that's not affordable housing. That's condominiums he's putting. And he wants to build, he wants to continue the relationship with special interests, and meanwhile, on the other side, you have Sal Albany saying he wants to build affordable housing, but he wants to do it with non-profit groups, which, by the way, I think is a very good idea, because with non-profit groups, they know how to build affordable housing. Not Mary de Blasio. Mary de Blasio wants to slide with special interests. This is why we have affordable housing crisis. This is why we have a homeless crisis, because of him. Well, according to the facts, Mayor de Blasio did very well on his approval, over 50%. But what about the new results, which is right now, Martin? Well, we have not gotten the new polls just last night. The last time they checked, it was uh, up by 46% right before the debate. Oh, Lord. And, and how do you do it, uh, Martin? How is the debate going? Mayor de Blasio, he's the facts straight. Sal Albany's got the facts straight. Mayor de Blasio did not get the facts straight at all. So, as you may know, Martin, um, you've been texting me, like, a couple of days ago. Now, you give me a special recap. I very thank you very much. Now, you, you told me Mayor de Blasio doesn't have no facts whatsoever. He didn't bring no papers. That's number one. No research, no details whatsoever. I don't know, he don't have no empty handed. But Sal Albany's got information, he got all the facts. Yep. And how he found out? 
he just literally attacked Bill de Blasio. It, 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 it was just fun to watch. <laughs> That's it was all. fun to watch. That's all the part of the debate, man. So you told me Mayor de Blasio text for the wealthy to help the mass transit. It's dead on an arrival. It's dead on arrival. Tax the wealthy. Yeah. See, Stephen, this is why we have a big problem with these Democrats, these progressives. They want to tax everybody. They want to raise taxes. And here we have Governor Cuomo, who, by the way, is a very smart Democrat. He wants to lower taxes. He wants to cut taxes for everybody. And then we have the mayor who wants to, 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 to tax the rich. Oh, my gosh. This is this is terrible, man. This is completely terrible. Um, this is terrible. And, you know, um, you know, I think some Democrats don't learn anything what's going on in the city. But I think the Democrats need to put their heads together. Give me one second, man. Uh, I'm very sorry about this, Mark. Forgive me. Now, um, say that again. Um... When I left off, yes. Martin, you, I think those Democrats don't learn anything. That's number one. Number two, they need to put their heads together. Because this New York City is completely out of shape. The economy is total mess. And what about the NYPD? Look at this fact you just texting to me. According to your text, it says that 76% that police officers disapprove of what Mayor de Blasio is doing. You see, because he's disrespecting the NYPD. And that makes matters worse, Stephen. He, you know the NYPD officer that, that was shot and killed on the line of duty uh, on the 4th of July? Oh, uh, yes, yes, I remember. The yes, well, guess what? The next day, on July 5th, he jetted off to Germany. Oh, no. Yeah, I remember. So instead of staying in the city, the pain his respects to 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 the police officer and instead of attending the summer youth a uh, police department um a ceremony he mm. shut it off to Germany you see this is he's like the next down jump 2.0 <laughs> but but to me that it's not even funny Mayor de Blasio what he shouldn't have done is very disrespectful it was so disgusting and it is, it is way too much for him. I don't know why. Because he was focusing about Donald Trump instead of New York City. And second of all, he needs to mind his own damn business. Period. Period. This is a man who could not be trusted. And he's not going to run for the second term. <clears throat> That's it. We have so many interesting quotes that you give it to me. You said that for Mayor de Blasio... He said, and I quote, progressives wants to get things done. But you say no. No, yeah, their policies are terrible. Okay. And what kind of some of the policies? Their policies. Are you kidding me? Some liberal policies. I'm not even going to name them, but they know that they're, the policies they're putting up to are not that good. Damn. That's crazy. And you also said the quotes of the Democrat Party needs to be the Progressive Party platform. Yeah, this man wants to run for president in 2020. But this is what he wants. Okay, I knew it. That's why Mayor de Blasio will run for president in 2020. He's not going to compete Donald Trump. As a matter of fact, Donald Trump is in a hot boiler right now. Because he should probably be resigned as soon as possible until the fall comes. But we will definitely talk Donald Trump about uh, after that. But right now, yes, you know, uh, Mayor de Blasio, I I'm sorry. His, this guy is, is very cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. He is, he is going this too far. He is going this too far whatsoever. I really don't understand. Where his money coming from? His own piggy bank? His own campaign? What we have learned Mayor de Blasio is, Martin, that he become one of the worst mayors in New York City. He doesn't care anything. He doesn't care about the tragedy, the NYPD. All he really cares about is focusing on Donald Trump, becoming <coughs> he's the next 
global ambassador and also his own his own presidency. He wants to think he's running for president in 2020. No, he had to pay more. If he didn't pay, this could be another scandal, which is what he did on Merrill campaign in 2013. I'm correct? So, I think Mayor de Blasio needs to learn his lesson how what real politic really it is. If you become president just like Donald Trump, everything will be a total disaster. Well, it's going to be a disaster in 2020. Yes, it will be a total disaster. But I am suggest that Mayor de Blasio will not run as president of the United States. Anyways, let's move on to now how shall Albany do? Saw Albany's. He was. I like that. He won that debate, Stephen. He really won that debate. If you will go to New York One dot com and check out the debate highlights. Yeah, he really won that debate. And when's gonna be a new one? I mean, the new primary debate. Oh, uh, we don't do it yet. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, I think Mar is sick, folks, so forgive him. Well, I have a little cold. Yeah. Don't it's just going away. Yeah, it's just the weather, folks, trying to be careful. I have that cold since, like, like um, a second month from now, and I feel much better. Right before I had to go to the dentist, get ready for my wisdom tooth extraction. Just one side only. So I feel much better. <laughs> All right. All right, Martin. Um, tell me the background of Sal Albany City, you will please. Well, Sal Albany was a 15-year city council member. Yeah. He represented the Bay Ridge, Diker Heights, and Bensonhurst, which is, by the way, a very conservative here in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so he represented them for 15 years. Mm-hmm. He was also a public school teacher for 11 years before that. And he is a, um, a attorney. He's, he worked in the private sector. He's, he's now an attorney right now. So, so yeah, this, this man has the, he has the, this is now his fourth run as mayor. That was amazing. That's very great, Martin. Um, let's give a little bit of recap of Donald Trump quick right now. How's Donald Trump doing so far? Bad. And how bad it, and how bad was it? Martin, I say, how bad is it? It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And he knows about the hurricane in Texas? Well, he needs to work this thing's done. So that's everything of money even worse, though. <sighs> all right, and all right, I think that's wraps it up the mayor bail debate. Uh, Martin, thank you so much. I'm very appreciative for your help. Thank you. All right. And we'll see you next time on A Factor. Todo para la familia.